Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to take you through an exciting Elementor extension or Elementor add-on called Premium Add-ons for Elementor. Yes, the name is Premium Add-ons, but it actually has a free premium version and also has a pro premium version. So the name is basically Premium Add-ons, but they have free versions, which is actually a free version available and also a pro version available in this case i'm going to take you through some of the widgets that caught my eye that i think you can actually try out using in your elementor website or project so uh, at the moment i'm at the home page and right here they list for you all the elements that are in their pack and um yeah they pretty have some exciting elements like the model box which i found out and a lot more others that I'm going to take you through in this video. Just to scroll down here, this kind of content switcher right here, and you can always filter based on the elements you want to see. In this case, let's first switch to the free widgets. So all these are free widgets. We have the media grid, we have the banners, we have the vertical scroll, we have the blog templates, we have the model box, heading, you know countdown google maps and if we switch back to the pro we have the image layers icon box tables tabs mouth scroll google reviews facebook reviews whatsapp feed facebook feed color transition and that's all so now let's dive straight in and look at some of those elements that i found interesting but before we go any further, like I said, this add-on or extension for Elementor has a free version that you can get started with. You simply have to be logged into your WordPress website, come down here to plugins, add new plugin. And you simply have to search for premium add-ons. And boom, it will pop up right here. At the moment it has over a hundred thousand active installations so you simply install and activate i already have it activated and once you have it activated it will show up right here and boom here it will list all the available widgets you can have in the free version and if you upgrade you'll be in position to activate this other widgets okay so once you are interested in any of the widgets right here you can simply activate it or deactivate it by simply clicking on this content switcher so for now let's get started with those elements or widgets that i found interesting first is the model box so here they say the premium model box for elementor allows you to create call to action buttons along with model boxes open upon clicking on it now for example these are model boxes for videos google maps and so much more they kind of look like pop-ups look at this this is the single image model box i can close this over here image model box uh, youtube video model box text content model box and vimeo video model box you can also use images as triggers for your model box for example when i click over this image see this shows up here or even this image this shows up right here you can at the same time use text link as a trigger for your model box so if i click on this see this shows up and if i click on this this shows up and the beauty is that you can create a template using Elementor and use it as your content that will appear within the model box. Let me show you how that works. So when you go back to your Elementor website, you have this free version installed because the beauty is that the model box is available in the free version of the premium add-ons for Elementor. So you simply have to open up a page with Elementor. I already have a page here opened and I'm going to add here a new section and i can come right here on the widgets area scroll at to the very bottom because that's where the premium add-on extensions are 
Then I will simply look up for my model box, which is right here. Drag and drop that widget in my section. Boom, it shows up right here. By default, it is a button model box. Okay, but we can change it to be an image or even a text model box. So we can make changes to this model box. First of all, when I click on this default one, it is basically a text based model box with a button trigger. So when I click over here, I have these options. I can add a header. In this case, it can be an icon. It can be none. It can be font awesome or even an image. So in this case, we can change it to a font awesome icon. And then we can add an icon here or even we can use an image and then when I come over here to the title I can switch that title to anything I want yeah, you see how the header changes and then here I can choose the type of content so in this case the default one is the text editor so anything you add right here is what will appear in the content box right here okay so you can add as much text as possible that you want to appear right there or you can even use a template that you created using Elementor. Now this is what I find fascinating is that you can create your templates, import templates and you get started. Just like you see here, all these models were made using Elementor. Okay, So they are basically templates that were saved up and I used in this model pop-up box as content to show up. And then here you can even choose to show a close button at the top or even at the bottom this is what they're trying to say this and this and then you can choose to display this model box as a button an image text or on page load see how this works like for example when i close this and then i say image it will give me the option here to select an image that I want to use as my model box just like you see here okay so you can set up an image and the same if I switch to text then I can write lines of text that I want to use as my model box okay like get deal model box that's how it switches and then if I don't want that, I can choose on page load. So when I load up this page to a certain level or even based on the number of seconds that I set up here, the model box shows up. See how that works like? So anyway, that's just a quick walkthrough on how the premium add-ons model box works like in Elementor, which I think is an amazing widget and it is available in the free version of this plugin. Next, we are going to look into the fancy text widget. This is what you can actually create by simply dragging over this widget to your Elementor canvas. You simply just come over here to the widgets area and then come down here to premium add-ons and then you get the fancy widgets widget and drag it over to wherever you want, just like this. And you get started. You can customize a lot of things just like here, you can create stuff like this, you can create like this, even this, see how that is, and it's available in the free version. The other one that I found interesting is the Google Maps styles. The thing I found interesting is that you can add unlimited locations with custom markers in your Google Map location. You can even do custom map styles like this, okay. You can even create something like this much more customizations okay so you don't have something that is default and the beauty is that this is available also in the free version which i think actually makes the free version really more valuable the other interesting one is the premium image layers widget you see how this looks like so this is this is an image this is an image layer image layer image layer image layer and image layer so you can have number of layers within your widget and you can create stuff like this you can add a layer like this 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 these are all layers and you can have them within just one section and once someone scrolls or depending on how you set them to be like they show up in your elementor 
widget page or canvas look at this look at this below and of course this is actually in the premium version of this add-on for elementor the next widget that i found interesting is actually the premium multi scroll widget so when i scroll between these sections okay so this is the multi scroll so it will scroll this section and scroll this section but in a different direction okay so if i want now to scroll to the next section i can simply click over here and then i can get to the next section like moving down to the next section of this page but if i'm within this section then someone will simply just navigate within those three sections like i have this section this section and this section the same was for this other section this this and this you can create different other versions like this yes and of course this is in the premium version of this add-on the next widget i found interesting is the hotspots for elementor i think you've also seen this in the other widgets or add-ons i've been uh, reviewing in this series but i also found this interesting and kind of needed a mention you see you can simply get this widget within your elementor canvas and then you can add hotspots something like this you can customize the color and then the content in that hotspot and then you can simply drag it over wherever you want you can even create the same for teams and then you have this kind of different pop-up tooltip or effects that you can add to these hotspots the same like this see how this looks like very beautiful so this is uh, by the way available in the premium version and you can create tuning hotspots for your images within your elementor website uh, next is the google reviews widget and the beauty is that there is also a facebook reviews widget google reviews widget the good thing is that this premium add-on extension gives you this widget and simply echo your google testimonials and they will show up on your website and you have a couple of styling options see how this looks like see how this look like the reviews the date and look at this styling option this is actually in a card format and you can do a lot more customizations you see how this looks like the same even you can have something like this okay someone's name appears and the ratings that they gave you or you can have even a message display Next on the list is Facebook widgets reviews. You simply add this widget to your Elementor canvas and then you provide the necessary credentials. For example, the page name, page ID and the access token. And right here, you can add lots of customizations. You see how this looks like, really beautiful. You can even have this. And of course, these reviews are basically echoed from your page. You basically ask your clients to go and leave a review or a testimonial on your Facebook page or Google page and what you simply have to do is get this widget, have it on your website and boom, you'll have the reviews appear on your website. You can even have Yelp reviews, Facebook reviews and Google reviews. And finally, premium add-ons comes with a couple of premium templates that you can use within your elementor website and these are over 180 templates available that you can use they are actually available also in the free version once you have the plugin installed and activated so once you have your premium add-ons for elementor plugin installed and activated you simply come over here add a new section and you see this star right here this is the icon for premium add-ons for elementor and here we can load up premium templates or call them templates that are made by premium add-ons for elementor and you see we have the free ones and we also have the pro ones or ones that you can access only when you have the pro version of premium add-ons for elementor look at the image divider or image separator you can simply insert this in your work area or canvas this is actually for free so by inserting it right there 
boom it shows up here see so you can have this template work for you you can make now any tweaks that you want if you want to add another section you simply click on the icon and maybe you can even filter based on the functionality that you want off grid look at all these facts and figures design elements and a lot more so that was a quick walkthrough in the premium add-ons for elementor if you have any questions comments please leave them down in the comment box below otherwise i am happy to have come across this extension for elementor which i think adds more value or brings you actually more value when you use the free version but hey if you consider going for the pro version i'm going to leave a link down in the description below which is actually my affiliate link and if you use it you're not charged an extra fee to get this plugin but i receive a small commission on a single purchase that you make that aside thank you so much for watching and uh, if you're new to this channel please consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss out on new content when i push it out and if you like the video please hit the like button see you in the next video and have a good time